Whilst exploring pixel streaming, you've likely come across the terms done and turn. We're going to go into those right now and explore what a turn server is. To elaborate, all of the setup we've done so far in this guide has been a stun server, which is a direct connection between the signaling server and the peer. A turn server, however, functions as a relay and is necessary for many, if not all, deployments. The reason for this is that the turn relay will help you bypass things such as a strict NAT or other secure environments that won't allow a direct connection. This is common through environments such as uh, mobile network connections or strict corporate environments. Uh, generally both of these will not allow a direct stun connection so turn will be necessary. Thankfully, pixel streaming does ship with a production ready turn server. However, you may want to investigate this further if you have a specific setup you require for your deployment. To ensure you have enough information on setting up using an understanding turn, I'll link a few helpful bits of information in the description below. These will guide you through things such as using it, setting it up, or debugging it. However, for this video, we're going to go through a very simple setup and showing you connecting to turn. With all that said, let's jump back into our instance and we'll set up our turn server now. Running and connecting to the turn server shipped with pixel streaming is incredibly easy. We'll go through that now, and then we'll explain a little bit about the turn server. I'm sure you've noticed in the previous videos all these other scripts. Normally we've been running just the run local or start signaling server, but it is just as easy as starting the start with turn signaling server. You can also run the start signaling server and start turn server script separately, but this runs both. So you'll see here we have our usual signaling server, and on this other window, this is our turn server, so we'll see connections to turn through here. There's not much else we need to do with this here, so let's leave these aside. And we'll connect as usual with our normal launch args. Connection done. So, we're connected to our normal signaling server. This is a stun connection. However, you can see that the turn server hasn't registered or anything. That's because we're not connecting to turn right now. We can set that up through our connection. So, let's go back to our local system, back to our browser, connect as normal, click to start. So that's our usual connection. This is still stun. What we can do is we can open the front end panel, and you'll see here the force turn option. We'll enable that, and restart the stream. Now you won't notice anything visibly different here, but if we go back to our instance, you'll see here the turn server is now registering the connection. So we've now successfully connected through turn. In a later video, I'll go over debugging your connection so you can further detect whether you're using stun or turn. In the meantime, I'd like to briefly open up the start turn server script so we can have a look at what's going on in there. If we open this one here, you can see here we've got our pre-configured credentials for the turn server shipped with pixel streaming. We're not going to go through changing these to something different at the moment, but this is just where you'll need to go if you want to make these modifications. With this quick demonstration of turn done, let's move on to some other elements of pixel streaming, such as the matchmaker, 